थ्री Okay, so morning everyone. So today I'm presenting the new product from the Delta, which is a thing real, the digital power meter. Uh, this is all looking. Uh, so and today we also uh, invite get back to you uh, soon. So in today's webinar, uh, you will know something like uh, more about the industrial digital power meter from Delta and also more about the features for the new uh, thin rail uh, series and also more about how to manage the energy consumption by using uh, EMS software. The name is uh, DIA Energy from Delta. Maybe someone heard before, someone not, so it's okay. Today, let me show you the, all, all the things. So James, during my presentation, anything if you want to uh, uh, put more, then can uh, can just sharing us. Okay, I see. Okay, so this is uh, the content for today, the overview, and then it's a uh, basic the uh, product market uh, position, and also some uh, feature, and also I I like to promote the EMS software combined with the uh, power meter to put it as a energy uh, solution. And at last is the successful case sharing and some question and the answer. Okay, so come to the, the overview. So for Delta right now, actually you can see the product lines combined with uh, two parts. First one is uh, the panel mount type. Uh, obviously there's a, there's a panel uh, which is a 90, uh, 60, multiply 96 millimeter mostly. Uh, this is a very common uh, type in the market. I, I hope, I, I, I believe uh, most of the 90%, 80% uh, of the market, uh, this is a popular one. So as you can see, uh, the X axis go to the right side, is, uh, which means the function is more higher. So if we come to the, the left one, we can see the some new product uh, first one is the C510. This one actually is, uh, is coming soon in the second half year. This is uh, the, the economic type. And, and, and next one is uh, this one, the C320. This is uh, the compact size. As I mentioned before, mostly the panel size is 96 multiply 96. But this one is a little special. It's a, 72 multiply 72 is a, which is a little small size. And 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 next one is uh this is all all, all the old product. So I just have an overview, which is a standard one, and also this is a feature is uh support the Wi-Fi, mobile TCP, and this is an advanced one. And also with the new type, the Ethernet type. This one we we built in the two RG45. Uh, Ethernet port behind, so uh, which is uh, easier to do the setup in the in the uh, at the side, and also the communication speed is faster than 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 the Mobus IS four eight five. So this the first column, the uh, first row, I I I put the C and UL, which is a certification because this is all the uh, global uh, worldwide uh, product. And here I put the CMA, which is uh, from China. This is a certification uh, uh, agent in China. So that's why. So why I separate these two? Because this one, if some customer they don't require the certification, then we we can and also require the low price product. Then we can so we can we suggest them to to select select these two uh, models. So this one, the picture is uh, combined with the digital input and digital output. And this one also is the CP value, the cost and performance is very good. The function is very good. Uh, such like, such like uh, data logging, data logging and uh, the demand, the demand uh, power and the uh, current uh, measurement. So this is all the panel mount type and then we go to the new series, which is a thin rail. So all the first one, firstly, all the all the products support the C I think uh, C certification, and we can see from the first one is the the basic one, which is a DA five one zero. 
uh, this one support the basic function development, but don't have like the advanced function like the uh, demand or the uh, data log. So if we go to the, the standard one, the D530, which is also called the advanced function also. And this is uh, the, the, the old series, which is a CT built-in uh, parameter. The next one is the, the multi-circuit, which is a DC uh, measurement. Because normally, I think the parameter mostly focus on the AC uh, input, but this one, it's a little special, it's for DC. So the application uh, more, more mostly focus on like the solar energy and also some like a data center. And this one also support multi-circuit uh, up to five loops. So one power meter can support five uh, single uh, DC uh, power input. The next one is uh, multi-circuit, which is uh, AC type. This one is very uh, amazing. It support up to uh, 30, 22 uh, circuit, single phase, and also support uh, eight, uh, uh, eight circuit, the, 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 the three phase, the measurement. So this is uh, actually it's very powerful and also mostly suitable for like uh, building automation for some uh, commercial they need a bidding system. This one is a very, very perfect one. And next one is the incoming the D5540. This one is a waveform capture. This is a very advanced function. Uh, for some customer, if they require to capture the uh, suddenly like the surge or some like a high voltage or some impact. So this one is uh, the perfect one to capture all the fast response and then to do some analysis. Okay, so this is all the overview for uh, power meter from Delta. And then we can check a little bit on the market position for the new product or also the, the all the product. So actually for the panel mount type, we separate to uh, three uh, group. Uh, first one is the C530 series. Uh, this one is a uh, advanced function. And also if compare the, the, uh, the function, this one also the similar one, but uh, without the safety uh, uh, certification like a C and UL. So if your customer required the higher function and also the concern about the price, uh, this one is uh, the perfect one to, to implement. Then we go to the next group, group is a CX20 series. This one like a standard function and also uh, like a, have the measurement and some harmonic, but don't have the demand, also the, the data, data log functions. And similar, if customer don't care about certification, can refer, uh, can, can promote this one to, to them. And then the higher CT value. Then next one is a multi-circuit type. This one also is very, uh, 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 very unique uh, product. So right now you can see, don't have so, I can, I can see so just several uh, product in the market. Uh, so compare with the, the, the MA3222, uh, there's a more, advanced one. This one I think from Canada, this this part, this product. And this one I think from maybe China. So there's some benefit. It's a flexible connection setting. Uh, and also with a sufficient sufficient the function with a the better UI with a, the software. Okay. So next one we can go to the product feature. I will introduce one by one. So this is the over, uh, overview for the, all, the, all the new product. Uh, I will go to each of them to let you have a, a very quickly um, uh, knowledge about the product, about the fixture, and also what is the, the uh, advantage and also even some benefit we can bring to our uh, customer. So let's see the panel mount first. Uh, so as we as 
as we know, the C5 there is a very popular product for um, Delta if you uh, have been using this before. So for the C5 sphere zero E, which is uh, the at the Ethernet cable, Ethernet uh, communication, uh, which is support the MOPA TCP. So you can see here some like uh, how we do the uh, network build up. It's like a, a mobile TCP is a communication via the dual Ethernet port. You can see the com uh, connection like this. Sometimes uh, usually we call this one like a daisy chain connection type. So uh, actually for the upper system or for the network, we only require one uh, Ethernet port to the Ethernet switch. Then we can daisy chain to link uh, all the power meters one by one. So which is a very uh, flexible deployment due to its a daisy chain connection. And also we support the web service to configure it or monitor all the detailed data by the by go through the, the website. Okay. So next one is uh, the C320, which is a uh, smaller size. So uh, the function is uh, the, the, the basic one. So uh, don't have the demand or don't have the data log function, but the others are always support like uh, the basic measurement for all these parameters and support the class, the accuracy is, uh, this is a uh, class 0.5 has and also support the harmonic distribution and also the support the minimum minimum and maximum the record. So there's a one benefit to the customer. So if you can see, normally for power meter, the panel type uh, customer, they will put this one on the, on the cabinet. There's a front cover. Normally uh, customer will uh, draw a hole and then insert the, the panel, uh, panel bump power meter into it. So if the quantity is a lot, so uh, maybe take many uh, space. So for example, if we use the traditional one uh, with the same uh, space, maybe it can put 22, 24 piece, but within the smaller type, uh, it's up to 32 uh, piece. So which is, uh, can deploy more parameter in the same panel. So this is a benefit we can bring to our customer. Okay, so next one is a thing real, the DA510 and DA530. So actually, first you can see actually the demand, the dimension is uh, very good because uh, for, I think for this type, the, the application mostly is uh, in, put into the cabinet, which don't need people to go over, go over there to check, maybe it's a, uh, it's like a remote uh, monitoring or, or it's a non people standby the application. So uh, this one uh, normally in put into the cabinet and also the space is very uh, small can save the space. But also we can, we support the small LCD uh, on the panel on the front. So uh, we can monitor some or do some settings very easily. And so if compared with the, these two products, there's some uh, uh, different, like uh, this 530, they support the harmonic and also support the time of the, the, U, the use, the, we, normally we call the TOU, and also support to uh, capture the demand, which is the current and the power, and also the data record, alarm record, uh, even the CO2, the emission, and also the auto wiring uh, cor correction. So let's check one by one. First one is uh, the time of the usage. So here's the, the, the situation, like uh, uh, maybe in some, uh, some country, uh, even in the one day, the, the, ta ta the, the fee of the electricity is uh, different. Maybe in the morning time is uh, cheaper, but in the noon or after, or after uh, after work in the evening, the the, the electricity fees go higher because most of the people using the 
electricity at, at that time, so the price go higher. But in the midnight, midnight time, the price maybe go down again. So this one support at most the eight time tables uh -huh. for like a four seasons or even for Saturday and Sunday or even some specified uh, days or like a 10 days per year or up to five years. So this is all uh, can uh, suitable for the situation in each of the countries. So this is the first feature, the TOU. And then next one is the pulse uh, output. This one, uh, like we can we can set up the the power uh, usage like a like a per zero point one kilo hour k kilo double uh, h, then we send the pulse. So that means if the if the pulse if there is a LED uh, indicator if the indicator bl bl blinking is uh, faster the frequency go higher that means you are using the power, the, the power consumption is uh, go go up so this is a function for some time if customer they don't have the communication uh, even uh, mobiles or even the ethernet uh, ethernet so this is the way we can communicate communicate with them then we just send out uh, the pulse uh, pulse signal to the to other systems so they can do some like a counting or, or other ways to know the, the power consumption real time day. Okay. And next one is a demand calculation. Uh, as we know, uh, every factory, when they build up the factory, there is a uh, there is a capacity of the power of the power uh, usage. That means if you uh, if you sign the if you sign the, the contract with the authorized the uh, authorize the, the then you have to uh, you have to using uh, using the all the consumption with within the the contract value so that means if you go higher maybe some someday suddenly your equipment always turn on so the power consumption suddenly go up if 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 over the if over the contract the, the value so the authorized the, maybe they will Sorry, they will uh, maybe some fund. They will you have to pay the extra cost for the for the penetrate. So this is not good. So that's why we use the demand function to measure the fifteen minute. Most I think most of the country they use this one. Uh, the past the fifteen minutes the, to uh, to synchronize with the the power uh, the government. So. So normally there's a there's a way to measure the the demand is a fixed block. So that means the time is a fixed, the interval time is a 15 minute. So uh, there's a one, but but by using this uh, method, there's uh, some uh, shortage. Like uh, maybe you 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 start from the 15, uh, the time is 15 to 30 minute. But maybe the the government they their measurement from like a, a twenty to uh twenty to uh twenty to 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 other times thirty fives so maybe the measurement has some gap so there's some maybe like a miss on the mistake or the 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 value of the output is different from the government so that's why we provide the sliding the block. Type you can see actually it the interval time is like a one minute, so each of the minute we will up we will refresh all the demand in the past uh, fifteen minutes. So this one this one is more uh, accuracy. Okay, this is a demand uh, calculation. Next one is a data record. Uh, Sometimes the because normally the 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 power meter will mirror the all the all the all the datas real time datas but sometimes maybe we need to we need some uh, history data to do some analysis like a uh, current or like a uh, uh, harmonic or, or or even the power factors some something to to do the analysis so normally if you don't have the 
the EMS software, so the data will all just like a real time. Then the history don't have. But if you have a software, then maybe the software can help you to to record the history uh, data. But even using the software, the network maybe sometimes will some uh, failure on the network, or somehow the just the wiring is uh, losing, so the communication is uh, disconnected. So this is uh, the function why we use the data record. So that means if, if the, the things happen, the disconnection happen, all this data will keep in the parameter uh, temporary, temporary, temporarily. And uh, once and the system, the network uh, go up uh, back, back to normal, the data, all the data can, uh, can be uh, uh, read from the parameter. So here's, uh, uh, for example, uh, because for, for this product is up to 50 parameters can be logged and it's uh, also 16 alarm can be record. So for example, uh, if the interval time is like a one minute to detect the, to record the data, if we using, uh, if we want to collect the seven parameters, for example, and so after calculation, then we can remain the 30 days, which is a one month to keep all the data in the memory. So this is a data log, data record function. Okay, next one is auto wiring uh, correction. Uh, this one is to, uh, to correct the measurement values by algorithm and no need to change the wires in the, in the field. So that means Sometimes maybe the the three phase the uh, three phase the 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 cable the connection is uh, wiring maybe is uh, not not correct. So in this case, uh, by using this function, you can see we can follow the chart. Firstly, we start and then we enable the meter calculate calculate active the reactive the power. Then if the result coming is correct, then it's done. But if it's not correct. Then we can uh, we can enable the, the function. Then we can do some uh, changes from the parameter size, uh, parameter parameter side. Then we can recalculate again to check whether the correct the the result is correct or not. Okay, so this is a uh, auto wiring uh, correction function. Okay, here's some uh, some uh, applications for your reference. Uh, first one, by using the basic one, uh, we can focus on the equipment uh, mirroring or the system mirroring, system integration with others. And by using this one, uh, mostly we have to do some analysis. So this is uh, normally linked to the software, which is uh, can do some energy uh, management to the customer. Okay. Okay, next one is a uh, multi-circle type. Uh, okay, some uh, uh, some general uh, features. Uh, this one we have the main circuit to uh, two main circuit, and also we have the branch circuit uh, three uh, eight 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 circuit for for three phase and twenty four uh, for the single phase. So, so you might have the question, what is the meaning by uh, main circuit and also the branch circuit? So we can image that in the factory, there's uh, maybe the power, power source is uh, 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 one or two uh, power source, source, which is uh, normally we call the MDB. But uh, below, under the each of the MDB, maybe there's uh, many, many uh, DB panel, uh, distributed uh, uh, panels. So uh, distribute board. So so this is a uh, this is uh, why we set up the main circuit because to mirror the the DB uh, the distribute uh, board uh, because all the power the input is coming from one MDB right. So so this is a uh, reason why we set up the main circuit. This one linked to the MDB and then this uh, branch circuit linked to the DB because this is a uh, always the electricity the how the uh, set up the system uh, uh, layer by layer. So that's why we use the, the, uh, the function like this. Okay. 
And another thing for, for this one, we have to mention it, it's about the CT because normally the CT, the, the, the second, second uh, primary side and second side is uh, uh, maybe it's a five M, M. But for this one, the for the branch, it's about the 333, the mini volt. So this is a little uh, unique compared with uh, the others. Okay, so let's see the, the wiring. So we can see first one, there's a dual main uh, circuit with uh, isolated design. So which is, uh, this is a main circuit A and here's a main circuit B. And for the branch circuit, it's a uh, no matter it's a three phase or single phase, it's all connected to uh, here, for, for here and also here. And here's a uh, for link the, the CT. Uh. And also it support the data record function and also with build in the IO function uh, can do some uh, uh, notification or also can do some uh, pulse uh, output functions. Okay. And also support the, the uh, slide, sliding, uh, slide, sliding block the demand uh, calculation and also with the harmonics measurement. Okay, so as I mentioned before, the CT for, for this product is a little uh, different. So I also list down all the spec here. You can, you can buy from Delta or from the market. Uh, just mention about the, the specific of the CT uh, type. Okay, the last one is uh, uh, the DC type. So, so this one, we can see the general uh, fixtures. Uh, this one, first one is a uh, five loops for the DC uh, measurement. And also the, mirror, the mirroring, the current wire, the whole sensor because AC and DC is a little different. And also the whole sensor for DC support the power supply. So that's why we put another module here to supply the, the, the whole sensor. The, and it requires a 15 uh, volt DC and 100 milliampere. And normally the uh, application, uh, we uh, focus on the DC power measurement, uh, like a telecom or the green energy or the energy uh, storage. Normally it's uh, required the DC, AC, uh, AC, DC or DC, AC, the convert, co convert the situation. Okay, here's uh, the wiring. Uh, it's a part of five loop here. Okay, so as I mentioned before, this is uh, the telecom power system. So as you can see, uh, the AC input is coming into the uh, telecom system, like uh, uh, no matter it's a UPS or, or others, then the system will uh, transfer the, the, the power supply will transfer the AC to the DC to supply all the, the, the servers like a switch or others. So because the telecom, Telecom, the system required a lot of power consumption and they have to monitor the uh, efficiency of each of the, uh, the, each loop. So that's why we need the power supply, a power monitor here to put in front of the, each of the loading here. Okay, so this is a, a telecom as, uh, application here, like here. And also here's some uh, green energy like uh, wine wind, wind, uh, wind uh, electricity, and also the solar, uh, uh, solar, uh, solar inverters. Okay, so that's all for is uh, power fixtures. So next time I'd like to promote is the EMS software. Mm, so you might, someone may be not familiar with the EMS. EMS is a so-called like a, uh, energy uh, management system. So here I put the overview for the system in the general factories. I, I believe each of the generators they do have the system like this separate, which uh, like a system. Well, first one is a EMS system, and second is a SCADA one. So what is the, the difference between these two systems or, or, or we, can, we can call the two uh, functions? Uh, first one, the EMS is more focused on the energy consumption, which is like the electricity, the water, the oil, and the gas, uh, 
this is all the things we have to pay monthly, right? So how to make it more uh, efficiency or saving more cost? This is the things uh, each of the factory need to do some, uh, but I believe right now, maybe 80%, they, they manage this one by manually, or maybe by the uh, daily uh, record or by do some Excel uh, calculation. This is a traditional way, but I think most of them still are running the system like this. So of, of, of obviously there's some uh, shortage for, for the traditional way like this. First one, like the data is not transparent. And maybe sometimes the, because normally we, people uh, record the, all the data by daily. So we don't know during the day what happens, maybe in the morning, the noon or, or the afternoon or suddenly some something happened. We cannot know the real situ situations. Uh, and also the efficiency, efficiency is, not, is not so good because it's a manual is managed by people. So there's uh, some uh, delay uh, language of the, the information pass. So this is all the, this is all the things we can cover by the system. Okay, so this is an EMS. So another one is a SCADA. Normally SCADA to, is to monitoring the HVAC system and also some like a, a lighting or other system, they combine all the, the manufacturing operation into the system. So this is a, normally is a two uh, system in the factory. Of course, uh, upper upper these two, maybe there is also like a, has the MES system or then, then go up is a ERP system. So this is, a, I believe it's a, all the system in the software modern right now. Uh, okay, so, so back to Delta. The software, the name is a DIA Energy. So here you can see this is uh, the automatically generate the, the dashboard. So in the in the overview, we can see some like a power usage uh, distribution uh, by even by area or even by the load, and also we can see some power consumption. It's like a like a daily or monthly uh, overview. And also we can transmit the uh, calculate the uh, the power usage consumption to the uh, CO two emission, mm -hmm. and also there's a real time the power demand to show if there's a go upper the limit, then you must do, you you have must to do something to to avoid the the fine the, the penalty from the government. And last one is like a power uh, compared to let you do some uh, uh, analysis. Okay, and this is a, just an overlook of the, the system. And here I also put the uh, customized page uh, for your reference. So here's actually, you can see, it's very clear to see the uh, electricity, uh, usage in the factory. So firstly, you can see here's by area and also by the source because they have two uh, <coughs> the MDB the transformer from the uh, from the grid. So they compare by the firstly firstly by this one and also they compare by uh, building, which is also by area because this one uh, this this uh, factory have uh, many. Uh, factory building and also have the office air area and the canteen area so they they also can compare by this and within each of the the store uh, each of the the building they they also can compare separate the usage by uh, by load load so here is a compare by load of all the usage and and we can also we can customize no matter it's a daily each hour or, or monthly each, each day or even uh, yearly by each month. So if you want to if you want to check more information, you can just click here, then go into the the more uh, details. Okay. And also there's uh, another uh, function we can generate the the report and automatically send to the user uh, email like a daily or weekly or or even some ten days. This is a uh, they compile the uh, ISO ISO 
I think they compile the ISO uh, one. This is a requirement. So first one, the report we can customize for, for, for customer and the data is automatically generated into here. So once the system is uh, set up, uh, every, every if for the daily report, it will come in every day at the target time. So I think right now we have some uh, promotion uh, for the DIA DIA energy. So that means if you uh, buy the parameter, we somehow we can uh, provide a trial license like a ninety day or even longer to like you just to know the. Uh, to enjoy the, the benefit, such like uh, uh, the developing and the running uh, is all based on the web browser. Uh, normally we use, uh, we recommend to use a uh, Google Chrome. So this is uh, also saving the, uh, the, the time to do the, to do some uh, uh, changing or updating. And also for the network, the uh, technology is very, is quickly built up. Because after we link all the, the physical uh, connection is uh, set up, uh, the others all can go through by the system. So we just to follow the step-by-step -step to build up the technology very uh, quickly. Another one is uh, to generate the dashboard automatically. The, the one, the standard one I just showed actually is uh, automatically generated. So you don't have to uh, worry about the UI design, you no need to draw and uh, change the UI, the system all can do for you. You just follow the step-by-step -step to key in the parameters. But if you're not satisfied with the standard one, of course you can do like a, what I shared just now, you can, you can also uh, customize the UI, no problem. And also there's a customized advanced function by the VB script. If you uh, want some advanced calculation or some logic, so we also support the VB script. You can using this one to do some uh, advanced function. We also open all the all the all the uh, all the functions to the users. So how to get the license? Normally you have to apply to uh, us or the local uh, local colleague. Then we you can get the tour to to generate some uh, file and then you have to feedback to us. Then after we get this one, we, we can provide you a license. So after you got the license, uh, you just can paste, you just paste this one into the target uh, folder, then it will be done. Okay, so last one, I can share some uh, successful case sharing. First one is a textile machine maker in India. In India. Uh, and you can see the system uh, online is like uh, 40 uh, digital parameters. It's uh, all uh, in the three uh, plan. Uh, each of them linked by the, uh, the, the they are fibers. Uh, so the requirement from customer, first one is uh, electrical information of the transformer. They want to know the uh, detailed information. So you can see here for the dashboard, there's a uh, incoming power and also outgoing power is here. We monitor all the things for, for the transformers. And also the requirement is, uh, requirement is a real time alarm list of all the energy and the demand. So here you can see for, the, for this one, we put some trends and some analysis to do some real time uh, Real time uh, curve, but I want to highlight actually for for this case uh, the the feature for for this one is uh, the customized uh, report because sometimes uh, customer they cannot check the the system every day or sometimes they they forgot to check so that, that's why they they require to send the report to their email so by using the software we actually we have the we have the tour, so you just need to uh, set up the data uh, input and schedule and pass, and also set up the email receiver. Once the system set up, uh, the user will receive the report like this uh, daily or monthly automatically. So this is uh, the first case I'd like to share. Okay. 
Oh, okay, and also this is the details of the, the, the report. You can have a reference by the cover consumption by each of the unit, uh -huh, average or minimum or maximum. Okay, next one. Next one is the DRAM, the manufacturer, which is a semiconductor manufacturing uh, in Taiwan. Uh, so the system actually is uh, pretty big. You can see the power meter is go up to 150, and also uh, with the with the PLC we implement uh, we integrate some other uh, uh, information from the the cheater system. So the requirement first one is to present and the history the air uh, the AC demand information and to optimize the efficiency of the uh, water traders because this one the the semiconductor also using the electricity a lot every day so that's why they they actually they build up a system uh, the HVAC system already but they don't have the software to manage all the things or, or even to do some analysis so so actually I want to highlight for for this case there's uh, some a picture uh, we can efficiency the analysis for the water treater and also we uh, diagnose the energy saving op opportunity also by area and by equipment because actually we uh, after we get all the real-time data we put, uh, we build in some algorithm to like uh, make a suggestion to according to their uh, according to their situation. And so we also, we can set up some rules, like a, if the demand go up to the limit, then there's a, some rules. Rule number one will, will turn on. So that turn on maybe the, the actions, like we turn off some not important uh, equipment. So to reduce the, 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 the uh, demand. And also you can see here's a, a, the diagonal system uh, for the uh, efficiency. If after calculate, we, we monitor the efficiency of the cheater is not good. So we can, the system will, will, will highlight, will alarm people. Then if you click in, the system will show the uh, energy saving uh, opportunities. Maybe it shows like the, uh, it, it already turned on many a long time and also the uh, maybe the inverter feedback is, is not good so this is uh after all the things there's uh, some su suggestion to let you maybe first one first one to check the uh, inverter is no matter it's uh, running well or not and then uh, maybe to check the controller maybe uh, something uh, something is not it's not good maybe it's a failure so this is a uh, very good to the benefit to customer they really they really turn the, uh, the data to some real uh, suggestions which can improve their uh, uh, operation or even helping them to saving the, the cost. And this is the last one. Uh, this is a gas supplier uh, all over the, the country. So it's also happening in India. So for this one, uh, actually they have certified site, but each, each site of them uh, only have one uh, uh, panel. So they require the centralized uh, energy management system to monitor all the things and also do the remote uh, energy uh, data acquisition. So, so you can see by using the, the cloud router, which is also from Delta, we link the power meter with them by RS485. Then all the Data, all the data goes through like a 3G or 4G to the uh, cloud. Then the cloud, the, the data uh, bypass the, the cloud to the uh, EMS system. So the system actually you can image, uh, go through the cloud. Actually the system is like, uh, they combine all the parameter by the, by the cable directly. This is all the same. So, uh, the solution is uh, integrate all the cloud to overcome the the distance, which is uh, very uh, very far away from each of them, and also we replace the manual operation, which is uh, required the uh, people to 
uh, go to the site to record and report, report uh, daily or, or weekly to saving the, the human uh, cost. And also we have the data backup in the DI cloud to ensure the communication uh, data not uh, always keeping the safety not, not uh, lost. Okay, so that's all for today's uh, uh, introduction. Here I list down some uh, uh, frequency uh, asked the, the question. So first one is, uh, what is uh, CT? CT, the full name is uh, current uh, transformers because normally the primary side, the current will be very high, but for our product, the input normally is a five ampere. So that's why we use, we need the CT to transfer the high, uh, the high value to the low one. And second one, what is the data log uh, functions? Uh, as I mentioned before, if the system, uh, uh, if the real time, uh, the parameter cannot uh, keep the data, so the history data will cannot be uh, uh, record by by some analysis. So that's why we need the data log or data record function to keep all the the all the real time history historical in, inside the parameter temporarily. The next one, what is the difference between uh, C five three zero A and uh, C five three zero? I think this is uh, the question for the old uh, user because. Uh, years ago, we launched this one first. Then we then we go to this one. So the different first one is uh, we optimize the communication efficiency. Then second one is uh, we add the UL certification. No, before this one only have the CE. Then this one we add the UL. So this is uh, the different. And this one we right now we all sell the new models to the market. Then next one, what is the IP protection uh, level? So for the front panel is the IP uh, 54 and for the others is the IP two zeros. And next one, what is the SQL version does the uh, DA energy support? Uh, we support the SQL version uh, higher than 2008, uh, SQL 2008, upper the 2000, uh, 2008 is all support by the software. Okay, last one. Uh, some customer they asking uh, after the system uh, implement, uh, then year by year, maybe the data is uh, full. Then, uh, because normally because they are using the free one. Uh, actually, at the SQL, I think the exp Express they have the they support the free license like a ten gigabyte only. So 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 the answer is yes. If your if your data if your customer the data it's not so many and the quantity is not so many. Maybe you can use the free uh, license to uh, to keep in the data like uh, three years or two years. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's all for today's uh, introduction. Uh, any question you can send the email to us or you can scan here to get the webinar record video or the presentation material or even some quick start and more information. Okay, so let me check if uh, someone has the question.